Now from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather today. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks, here we go on this Thursday, and I tell you, it is a weather alert day across North Texas. Not so much for this afternoon, uh, but it is as we get into the overnight and even first thing tomorrow, Friday morning, uh, we're going to have a line of storms moving through the area. And again, there will be an opportunity of severe weather. So this is important information. The details are evolving ever so slightly. So I've got some new information here I want to pass along to you over the next few minutes. And of course, as we go through the hour as well. Now for today, Thursday, looking very similar to yesterday. We start with the morning cloud cover. It gives way to some afternoon sun. It's going to be warm. It's going to be humid. Daytime highs in the 80s. And in fact, it's going to be a fairly breezy southerly wind as we go through the day as well. But through the afternoon hours, notice I've only got a 20% shot on there for a stray shower or thunderstorm. Again, through the daylight hours, we remain quiet even for your evening plans, mostly quiet around the area. It's truly going to be as we get into the overnight. So so more on that again coming up momentarily but this is where we started the morning and these were your actual morning lows. Notice it's generally 60s around the area. Yeah, it was a very balmy start out the door, breezy and humid uh, as well. So looking at radar around the region right now, everything relatively quiet, but we've got a couple key pieces now, uh, the weather puzzle, they're trying to come together. And so number one, I'm tracking this little black line. That's a dry line that'll be coming in from the west. That's going to separate this warm, moist air from some bone dry air coming in from West Texas. And then obviously, so you see the blue and red lines out boundary now up in Oklahoma, but that will be coming south as a cold front as we get into the overnight and that cold front along with the dry line. Those will be essentially the surface pieces of the puzzle we look at. And then here comes the real kicker right coming in from the jet stream. You can see the big dip out here across parts of California, the desert southwest. Pretty impressive storm system here that will also be coming out as well. Of course, this is the same storm that's been diving down the coast of California. It's been called a bomb cyclone because of how low the pressure got uh, within the storm, almost similar to a hurricane, if you will. Uh, but again, there's been at least two reports of tornadoes out in Southern California. One, what appears to be a confirmed tornado yesterday in Eastern LA. I know the National Weather Service in LA is still trying to confirm that, but uh, there's been quite a bit of active weather, including winds over 100 miles per hour over the last couple of days as well. Uh, the good news is the overall opportunity of tornado activity here does appear to be relatively low but regardless we've got a big area of red this is mainly going to be overnight again as that line of storms does move through as we look at the tornadic opportunity here again the area of green again from the storm prediction center this would be a low end probability now this comes in two pieces it comes as the line comes through overnight could we have a brief spin up not impossible but late this afternoon in our northwestern counties i'll show you on the model coming up it's not impossible we get a couple storms up there along the red river and those could also by late afternoon be quite severe as well uh, so really twofold western counties hell up to the size of golf balls i think here in the metroplex as the activity comes through between 4 a.m and 9 a.m tomorrow morning I think quarters to half dollars at most right so kind of minimally severe as it does sneak through the metroplex opportunity of 60 mile prior winds could be the primary concern highlighted in blue through most of the afternoon we're relatively quiet but take a look at this by late afternoon up along the Red River Valley it may only be in Oklahoma or we may have a storm or two here locally in North Texas as well those could be big hell producers limited tornado threat late afternoon early evening with that and then it's truly as we get into the overnight night. Look at this, this line of storms coming through after midnight, moving into our western counties, 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. tomorrow morning here in the Metroplex. And then the line of storms continues to push off to the east. Could be re-intensifying, though, in our eastern counties and especially the Piney Woods of eastern Texas. Some locations may be lucky enough to pick up a half an inch to ride around an inch of rain. Daytime highs in the 80s today, warm, humid. There's that late afternoon opportunity of a stray shower thunderstorm off to the northwest. Any of that activity could be severe. Any kind of evening plans here in the Metroplex still looks mostly dry. Temperatures easing through the 70s overnight tonight in the 60s, but here's that more likely opportunity of rain and storms moving through the area as we go through the overnight. Here comes the front for tomorrow, but temperatures are still in the 70s tomorrow with that ending opportunity of rain by early afternoon in our eastern counties. So there it is. It's a more likely opportunity of rain and storms overnight tonight. We'll taper off the rain chance fairly quickly as we get into Friday and then heading into the week. Weekend. Right now, things looking pretty good with highs in the 70s.